Hey, what is up, you guys? Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Let's go, man. Welcome back. So as you can see by the title, today is a little different. Your boy turned 24 two days ago. Two days ago, right? I turned 24. Old man up in here. But today I thought I'd switch up the content a little bit, show you guys some exercises, okay? So still trying to figure out the channel, what exactly you guys would like. You know, I do a lot of vlogs, a lot of workout stuff. It's a lot today. Show you guys some exercises. So I got my phone ready. I got 20. We're going to be doing 24 exercises for my 24th birthday. And I'll show you guys I got the notes. And I got it broken down. So we're going to do chest and shoulders, back, legs, and then arms and core. Six exercises for each. I'll make sure at the bottom I drop the annotations or the tags, right? So you can skip through um, and see where you're at in the video. But I'm super excited for this one, guys. Also, these exercises too, I'm going to be doing a lot of variation stuff. So not your normal exercises. Maybe some of them might be a little normal that you guys are used to. But I'm going to try to switch it up so you guys can switch up your routine too. Okay? Make sure to like and subscribe for me. Sorry for the long intro. Let's go, man. And then as you guys can see, there is no one even in here. Wow, complete to ourselves. And before you guys start these exercises, I need to always reiterate, I got the foam roller. No, this isn't, you know, this isn't one of these, okay? This is for you to warm up, okay? So I'm gonna reiterate, warming up, properly warm up, make sure to foam roll, do whatever you need to do, get your body ready. We don't want no injuries up in here, okay? So get warmed up before you do anything as you come into the gym, 10 minutes at least. Let's go, man. All right, guys, so the first six exercises are gonna be chest and shoulders. So the first movement we're gonna do is my, my most important chest movement and upper chest movement. That's gonna be an incline dumbbell bench, okay? So we're here, dumbbell bench, incline, bench is at a 45 degree. We're nice and controlled down, coming 90, coming through and pressing, okay? And this is a dumbbell incline bench, all right? All right, guys, the second movement is a floor press. This will be a little variation of any presses that you do. This is for your chest. We'll be here on the floor, obviously. Dumbbells are up. We're gonna be nice and controlled down. Arms are touching here, our arms are 90. As soon as our elbows or the back of our arm touch the ground, we're gonna be here pressing through. Okay, so nice and controlled down. Arms touch the floor, here 90. Coming through and pressing. All right guys, next we're gonna do a push up with a medicine ball switch, so we're gonna be here. You can do this from your knees or up in a push up position. So I'll be here, coming down, push up, arms 90. We're gonna switch the medicine ball, do the other hand, okay? From the knees is how it would look. If you're from the knees, make sure to get your butt down so you can incorporate your body weight. I'll show you this, right? If you're doing it, you don't wanna be here, okay? Get that butt down so you can incorporate your body weight. And we'll be here, push up, and switch, okay? And this is a medicine ball push-up variation. It's called a push-up with a medicine ball switch, all right? Very, wow, it's like the name is in the exercise. All right, next guys, we got a cable upright row, so we're gonna be here with the cable. You want it at the lowest spot, so bring that cable all the way down to the floor. And I got a straight bar attachment here, okay? And we're just gonna be here, standing. I wanna stand pretty close to the cable. And what you wanna do is act like you're zipping up a coat, okay? So you're here, here, zipping up the coat, here with your bar, Nicely controlled down, okay? Elbows out. Make sure you're initiating that movement with your shoulders. This is called a cable upright row, okay? This is really good for your shoulders. So the biggest hit, keep it close to your body, zip up that zipper, bring those elbows out, okay? All right, next movement, guys, we're gonna do a supinated shoulder press, okay? So I'll show you this, right? Palms facing away, pronated, hands here, okay? Palms facing away, pronated, hands here, neutral. Supinated is palms facing you, okay? So we're gonna be here, supinated shoulder press, palms facing us, both at the same time, nice and controlled up, nice and controlled down, okay? It's not gonna be like a normal shoulder press, you can be here, arms completely straight. You're not gonna get that full range of motion, but it's really gonna focus on that front delt. So we're just gonna be here, both together, supinated shoulder press, okay? All right, now for our last shoulder chest exercise, guys, we're gonna be here. We're gonna do a dumbbell raise complex, okay? So I know you guys are really used to the lateral raises, right? Arms straight, come at 90, but today we're gonna incorporate a couple more, so a dumbbell lateral raise complex. We're gonna be here, in front, 90, 
or sorry, excuse me, here in front, that'll just be in front. Then we're gonna go 45, and then we're gonna come 90 in that normal rattle race. Okay, so look, I'm here, forward front, 45, 90, okay? Front, 45, 90, okay? We're gonna do all those together, do about four sets of each, right? So this is all three together is one, you do about four reps, okay, so 12 total, all right? And that's a dumbbell raise complex. Next we got a, next side is we got a single arm lat pull down. We're gonna start our back exercises now. So moving on from chest to back. This is a single arm lat pull down, so we're gonna be facing away. It's right normally with the seat we're facing forward. Today we're gonna be facing away. Single hand up above, nice and extended. We're gonna be here pulling through our elbow, squeezing that lat, okay? Whatever you do on this arm, make sure you do the same on the other, okay? All right, next I'm gonna show you guys an inverted row. Okay, so I'm setting this up with a Smith machine. You can also set up a bar and a rack and do this. But I'm gonna be here, hands on the rack. I got a bench in front of me so I can have my feet up. And it's called an inverted row. Okay, so we're here, nice and controlled, coming up, squeezing, nice and controlled down. My feet are up, and we are inverted. Okay, so this is an inverted row. All right, next guys, we got a landmine row. My gym's got this fancy chest supported row, so it makes it easy, but if you don't have this, just put a bar in a corner, have that landmine, and we're just gonna be here. Bar in hand, we're gonna be facing away. Arm nice and extended, elbow out. We're gonna be here, rowing, okay? This is called a landmine row. This is a really good variation for your lats and your upper back. We'll just be here, elbow out, rowing. Make sure what you do on this arm, you're doing the other, okay? Landmine row. All right, next back exercise, we're gonna do a face pull. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that the cable is all the way up. Then we're gonna be here walking back. Make sure your arms are straight so you can have that full range of motion. We're gonna be elbows nice and high. You see I'm here, elbows nice and high. And I'm pulling this middle part, this middle attachment of the rope right to my face. And I really like the rope for this exercise. So we're here, elbows nice and high, right to the middle of my face. And this is called a face pull. And this is really good for your upper back and your rear delts, okay? And we're just gonna stay with the rope for this exercise too. This is gonna be a straight arm lat pull down. So we'll also have that attachment all the way up. We're gonna be here walking back so we get that full range of motion. Get those hips back a little bit so you see here. Walk my hips back a little bit just so I can get my get bent over so I can get that full range of motion with my lat. So I'm here, arms fully extended out, getting that lat stretched. Arms are completely straight the whole time. I'm pulling through, squeezing right under my armpit. All right, so getting that stretch in my lat, pulling through arms straight getting that squeeze, okay, and I'll show you here, right, arms are completely straight the whole time, okay? All right, you guys, and then for our last back exercise, we're gonna do banded iso holds. So I have this here, this thick resistant band here, I'm just gonna attach it to anything, you attach it to a rack, anything that doesn't move, please. You don't wanna be hitting people with weights now, all right? So we're gonna be here, arms fully extended, and it's a static hold, an iso hold, so arms fully extended out here, and we're pulling, we're squeezing for five seconds, five, four, Three, two, one, really squeezing that whole time. And then we're three seconds on the eccentric here. Three, two, one. Okay, so you see here, arms fully extended. Boom, ISO hold, I'm holding, ISO, getting that tension, five seconds. Nice and controlled out for three count. All right, those are banded ISO holds. All right, and then next as we're gonna go into some leg stuff. So done with back, we're gonna move into our legs, some quad and some hamstring exercises. I'll show you, this is gonna be a multi-planar lunge. So we're gonna be here. I know you guys are really used right to the normal walking lunges, but today we're gonna do a multi-planar lunge. Okay, so you're gonna be here, front lunge, stepping into a side lunge, stepping into a reverse lunge, okay? So front lunge, side lunge, and reverse lunge, all on the same leg, kind of like that multi-planar um, lateral raise that we did, right? So we're gonna be here stepping forward, stepping out, stepping back, that's one rep. Make sure you're doing four each leg. And that's a multi-planar lunge. And the next, next leg exercise, guys, we kind of have the holy grail here of hamstring and glute development exercise. This is a dumbbell RDL. So we're gonna be here, butt back first, okay? So think hips first. We're here, butt back, back flat. We're coming down, running those dumbbells against our legs, feeling that tension in our hamstring, feeling that pull, boom, coming through with our hips, okay? You want that back flat your whole time. You don't wanna be here, right? You want that spine rigid, okay? So hips back first, hips back, Running your legs back flat, here, feeling that stretch, coming through, squeezing. And then next, I know you guys are used to normal leg extensions, 
but today I want you to focus on a single leg, leg extension, okay? So focusing on one leg, this one's really easy because it's unilateral, but most of you guys just have that normal leg extension with that one pad, so both of your legs are together. So just have one leg working, we're just gonna be here, one leg at a time, nice and controlled. This will really put that focus on your quad, and a lot of people don't like to do this isolateral, right? So make sure we're just doing that single leg, leg extension, just to switch it up for you guys coming through. And then another thing too that people don't think about with leg extension is you can manipulate what you're hitting with your foot. Okay, so if you have your toe pointed out, toe pointed in, or forward, you're gonna hit different parts of your quad. So think about that too if you wanna switch it up, just manipulate where your feet are, okay? All right, All right. and then next guys, we're gonna do a kettlebell swing, so really good for hamstring and glute development. Also, if you wanna get your heart rate up and do more hit circuits, this is a great exercise. So pretty much mimicking the deadlift, the Romanian deadlift form, butt back first, back flat, we're here, butt back, kettlebell between our legs, coming through and squeezing, okay? As you can see, my back is flat the whole time. This is really good. Make sure you're coming through, squeezing, butt back, hips loaded, coming through, okay? And that's a kettlebell swing. The next guys, we're gonna do a heel elevated goblet squat, so get a weight just like this, put it on the floor. All right, and then we're just gonna grab a dumbbell for the goblet, heels on the, on the plate that you have down. This is really gonna put focus on your quads. So we're gonna be here, butt back, sitting in that bucket, Squatting up, okay? Make sure you're keeping your core tight. So you're with the dumbbell in front, make sure you're keeping your core tight, getting that engaged. Butt back here, squat, okay? This is a heel elevated goblet squat, okay? All right, guys, and then last leg exercise here, we just got a 12 inch box. We're gonna be doing a side step up. So right, normally you guys are here, and you're just stepping up in front, right? And this is a normal step up. But today what I want you to do, one foot in the middle, your other foot's on the side of the box. You're gonna be here, stepping up. Okay, and this is a side box step up. Okay, this is a really good variation for you. All right? All right, guys, done with legs. We're gonna go on to arms and core next, do a couple bicep and tricep exercises, and then obviously core. This is gonna be an inclined dumbbell curl. Okay, and what I want is here, lean back, elbows nice and pinned. I want your arms at a 45 right, not 90, or here right in front. I want them nice at a 45. Arms completely extended, getting that full stretch. Coming up together and squeezing. Okay, nice and controlled down, right? Remember, elbows pinned, 45 degree angle out, coming up together, okay? Really good variation. Now for our second arm movement, we're gonna do a single arm tricep extension, right? So a lot of you guys are used to the normal tricep extension here, both hands. Today we're gonna do a lower variation, just a single arm. You can put an attachment on here, like a handle if you want, but most places have like just this cable um, with the ball on it, I just grab that. My elbow is nice and tight here against my body. And I'm just coming across my body, single arm, tricep extension. Okay, and I'll show you, right? Nice here, elbow nice and tight, and I'm coming here across my body, okay? My elbow is not coming up as I come up with the cable. It's staying here tucked, single arm, tricep extension, all right? And then next bicep ex exercise, uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff with the cables. We're gonna do a cable face curl. Okay, so we're gonna be here, walking the cable back. My arms are fully extended out. I'm just gonna be curling. I'm gonna act like there's a pad right here under my arms, so these aren't moving at all. I'm gonna grab the attachment, arms fully extended out. I'm gonna be here, curling, bringing that attachment right to my face, okay? So as you can see, I'm here, right to my face, okay? This is a cable face curl, good variation. All right guys, last tricep extension, tricep exercise I should say. We're gonna be here. It's almost like a floor skull crusher. I like to call it just a line dumbbell tricep extension. So we're here, arms over our head. We're just coming, arms 90. Tricep, um, the dumbbells are touching the ground, arms 90. We're here, extending up. Nice and controlled here. Elbows touching, arms 90. Tricep extension up, okay? Both together. Really good variation for your triceps. All right, y'all, so done with the main movements. Uh, back, core, um, sorry, excuse me, back, shoulders, chest arms, all that stuff, I'm gonna go into core next. And core for me is a really big deal. Uh, just because I'm really, really conscious of keeping my spine safe and my back safe. So I don't do any, right, any stuff where I'm sitting on the floor, all the stuff I'm doing, my face or my stomach is facing the ground or I'm standing up, okay? So I'm making sure I'm not doing any rockers, rockies, Russian twists, any of that stuff where my spine's not gonna be in a good position. Uh, so I'll show you some stuff. I'm just gonna do one anti-extension, so a plank movement and then an anti-rotation. I'll show you those. All right, you guys, so this is called an elbow. This is called an elbow slider rocker. I got the sliders here. Okay, so I'm gonna put my feet on these. Feet are on these here. 
I'm gonna go into a low plank position, so elbows on the ground. I'm gonna keep my butt up and my back flat. And these are called elbow rockers, okay? All I'm doing is I'm rocking my elbows, keeping my butt up. I'm not moving my feet or anything at all. I'm just rocking my elbows here, really engaging my core, okay? Those are called slider elbow rockers. All right, so I showed you guys that anti-extension variation with that elbow rocker of the plank that I showed you. Now I'm going to go into an anti-rotation stuff. So this is going to be really good for your obliques and your outer core. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a band connected to an anchor. I'm going to be walking it out until I feel that tension. I'm going to be parallel with the band. So I'm out, hands are out, completely straight. And I'm just going to be here, waist to mouth. Okay, and these are called long eyes. So I'll band here. I'm walking out, I'm parallel with the band. I'm facing away. My arms are completely straight, so I'm just gonna be using my core. You're gonna get really feel that tension, that pull. The band's gonna to wanna to pull you back, so that's where you're gonna be really using your oblique. And we're just gonna go here, waist to mouth, 10 each side, and that's an anti-rotation core exercise, okay? All right, well you guys, there you go. There's all 24 exercises. You know, like I said, all hopefully variation stuff, stuff that you don't do on your own that you can incorporate into your workouts. I wanted to keep everything pretty short too. I didn't want to have you guys watch an hour long video of all these explanations and form and all that stuff. I tried to just give you guys a couple main like key tips to think about when you're doing them. So hopefully that helps you guys out. But I really enjoyed this video. Hope you guys really like it. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly what content you guys want to see. If you guys wanted to see me do some pumpage with my shirt off, if you guys want to see informative stuff like this, have me talk about hot topics, but make sure to leave a comment for me. Tell me guys how you guys liked it and I really appreciate all the support I love you guys so much thank you for all you guys rocking with me make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one thank you if you're not subscribed to Peter Larson Fitness then what the are you doing